Welcome back, everyone. We're rolling on into Saint Denis. We got our artist friend to see, and then uh, something big going on with Sadie. Look at this train. This thing is huge. All right, here we are. Now we're wanted here. Um, oh, there's some guys with guns. So I don't totally know what that means in terms of how discreet we need to be. What? Are they already coming for me? I sure hope not. Oh! Covered in blood. That's not good. Alright, well, let's get to the other side of this train. What's going on? Is it our horses trying to cross the train or something? Something not good's happening. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Ooh. Yeah, it's our horse trying to cross the train. How long is this train? There we go, there's the caboose. Alright. Oh my gosh. Poor thing. What happened? Alright. Let's go. Wanted dead or alive. Not good. A lot of stuff going on around here. Let's go check out Charles to start. Let's see if we can do that without getting busted. How do we get out of this train yard? We really got out on the wrong side of the train, didn't we? That was our bad. There we go. No, thank you. Oh. Total no thank you. I mean... I mean... Professional cowboy here, folks. <laughs> Some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this feller's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Mm. Wait, what happened? I'm an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. We kind of missed why the guy was mad at him. Hmm. All right. All right, let's go see Sadie. Come on now, boy. What the? Why did you buck me off? I mean, I guess I just need to walk in here anyways, but... Huh. Don't you worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? And why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang. Cold oh, boy. Uh, so? Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are going to hang him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not before time. Her husband was killed by him, that right? That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being... 
wanted men. We're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, <laughs> Sadie. <Come on. laughs> well, don't we just look the part? Hey, we look perfect. We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say? Being a fancy woman of sand and he shoots you. <laughs> I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up. Nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you going to keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arth. Don't we all? You two quit it. We all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? I don't think we ever even saw Comb. Is that true? Hey. All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. The Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise! I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We gotta follow them to find out. Yeah. Oh. Come somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Oh dear. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. <laughs> Dutch. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint. Dutch is amazing. Yes, they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's turned down there. So... Let's go. Quiet. Bunch of cops. Well, how many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there on one of these verandas. Through a building, maybe, and get him, and do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm gonna do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. All right, let's try up here. Oh, Arthur, here's a ladder. How do you do? Oh, there's a ladder somewhere. Great. Shouldn't have come up here then, huh? 
Pardon me, ma'am. Je vous salue. Over there. Can I get out on the roof this way? No, back this way. Here we go. Where is he hiding? Oh, is he on the far side? The square's over there. Got it. Where is he? What's this then? Oh. Gun case. Wait, did he leave? What the hell? Oh no. Clever. Come on, 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 Sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly is by savagery. Where's Sadie? Cold oh, there they are. O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade. Look at all these guys with guns who aren't cops. Seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task <laughs> we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modris. Wow, pretty dark. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. Whoa. Now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Oh, Sadie. <laughs> Go, Sadie, alright. Where are they? Where are they? Here we go. Oops, careful. Prudent with these shots here. Got him. Get who? So disorienting. From where? Oh, here. Can't get a shot on him. Oh, I can get a shot on him. Oh, I only clipped him.
<laughs> what was the uh, title of that other mission? Revenge is a dish best served eaten. <laughs> This one was served cold, I guess. How you get on, Arthur? Well, we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. Yeah, come on, don't be so depressed, guess, Arthur. Compared to the entire government, in the end. Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. Ooh. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? Mary. She ain't worth it, Arthur. Why not? Who is? What? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense, but when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again you've broken my heart again and i fear i have broken yours and for that i will never forgive myself but you must let me go now i enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young not because i don't like it but because i care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this. For it kept me thinking of you all these years. And I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Whew. Well, that's a bummer. Oh, and a photograph? Ooh, we gotta take a look at that. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Oh, you're Thank welcome. So much. No problem. Oh, Arthur, cheer up. Have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I, I have you as a friend. Aw. Alright. Trelawney's back? Josiah? I, um, I was, uh, Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. Yeah, that's a good time Perhaps. to go. I don't blame him. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> but I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Come on. Place is quiet. Get out of here. Go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Wow.
Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Oh. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting Ooh. to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances. It's a moments. trap. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember. But maybe this time, he must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got I've it. I've saved your life. Do it for me. Sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Let's go. <laughs> it's gonna be a long way, right? Both of you, you have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. <laughs> I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much. But when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting, and there's one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. I'll place your bets, folks, on whether or not we can come to an agreement here. Grab a snack and load up some weapons here. Actually, that's a good rifle. Some candy, maybe, to help the dead eye. There's my men up ahead. Hello. This way. I 
I didn't get my weapons. <laughs> I guess maybe I'm not supposed to, but these guys have their rifles. It kind of makes me nervous. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. You know, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <laughs> Listen, Mr. <clears throat> Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. What is it? What? In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. <laughs> Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. This but guy. Quite frankly. Quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... <coughs> Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're gentlemen with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's quite is, a cough. The federal government. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Who removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I I mean, his whole professional life. We know what they say about him. High tail favors. The man who missed a battle. Mm. Poor Mumro. Kinda liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kinda stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> The lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> so I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir? from a junior officer in public. Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Aye, right, Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Aye, if aye. I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall. Get off me. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Time to Let get out go. of here. Come on. Don't be dumb. You son of a bitch. I got a shot. <gasps> don't be dumb. Open fire on Let's go. Come on. Ooh. Oh wow. I can't shoot at these men. Yeah, but we can. 
<laughs> sure can. It's not their fault. I get it. Oh, okay. Get back to Monroe. for this pistols maybe or like this Back there. Oh, you can hear him. There he is. Let's go, Captain Monroe. You're with me. All right. Shots here. Hold up. I think we're finally in the clear. Everybody okay? Not really. What do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talk. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... An armadillo? Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. 
Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. <laughs> Hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. <laughs> Meet you back at camp. <coughs> Reverend? Is he leaving too? Reverend. What are you doing here? Um. I'm leaving. Running away? I suppose so, yes. I'm running away. I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's. He's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You leaving them? I told them to run to. I asked them to come with me, but they wouldn't. I'm changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I, I can't die for a bunch of nonsense sprouted by a fool. I understand. You're... Well, you're, you're not a good man, Arthur, but you're not all bad either. Everything will be... Your journey, your path will be just fine. I'm worried my path is coming to an end, Mr. Swanson. Maybe. I've felt that way for a long time about myself, I mean, but, but you'll do what's right. I don't know about that. I do. Save who you can and let the rest rot. And look after yourself. Maybe. We'll see. You do see. You just can't quite admit it to yourself. All aboard! Be well, Reverend. All aboard! You too, Arthur. Sure. Good luck out there. You lived your life like a man, Arthur, and you turned into a good man. If we were all like you, things might have turned out differently. You're getting mighty sentimental, Reverend. Alright, let's go ahead and take a break here. Go back to camp after, probably see who's, who's still with us. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time.